praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I just, I'm going to open up and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us a beautiful day. It's cool outside, but I'm, we're thankful, Father God, for to be alive, to be able to spread your word. Of course, we want to be in heaven with you. But Father, as we live here, we thank you that you comfort us as we live here on this in, on this planet, Lord, and 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 um, and get us into the places we need to be to fulfill our purpose for you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for today. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for guiding us with the fruits of the Spirit. Thank you for loving us with love in Jesus' name. I just want to say, man, God bless y'all. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and. And, you know, I just want to encourage somebody, truly encourage, truly encourage somebody. Trust the Lord Jesus. Get in the word. Get in his word and, and, and develop a relationship with him. You find so much peace and joy. Find joy in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. He, he will. And, 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 and just believe in that. Just having faith. You know, uh, God is amazing. And I just want to read something to y'all today. And um, I want to just thank the Lord. I'm, I'm, this is on my heart and it's been on my heart. And uh, find joy in the, in the Lord, man. I, I read his story and I just find so much joy, you know, in, in certain things. There's so much I want to share. There's a time and place for, there's a time and place for everything. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to read what. I have to read right now because, man, I'm just I'm just finding so much joy and love from the Lord, and I want to share it with you, and I want to let you know that God is love. Jesus Christ is a true fulfilling. He will fulfill everything inside of you. He will He will give you a sense of love, a purpose. You know, He is a love. There's so much, man. I just trust in the Lord. Um. All right, this is going to be Ephesians chapter 4. Uh, and I'm going to start with Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace, according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. And he gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended in the, is the same also that ascended up far above all he heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Purpose of the gifts. This is, the, uh, I'm in verse 12 now on uh, chapter 4, Ephesians, if you want to follow along. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, uh, to, till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual, effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Oh, this is wonderful. So therefore, it's, it's telling us right here, you know, um, our gifts are... are are, are for Christ, you know, he, he sent, you know, the, the more we learn Christ and Jesus' love, the more we're able to use, our, truly unleash the heavenly power of our gift for the edifying of the body of Christ. 
for the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the Lord and Savior. So I just want to tell somebody out there, you know, uh, gifts, <laughs> better use them right. And, and the truth, you know, um, it, everything's a test, you know. So I just want to say I want to encourage people to keep their motives pure and bring forth good fruit. Don't let any thorns grow up. You know, they, they, the thorns try to get inside of your mind and they try to they try to develop. Thorns are what Jesus was talking about when he said, um, we'll go to the verse, matter of fact. It's what Jesus talked about when he said, um, you know, the riches of the world, the things of the world, the other things, obtaining things of this world. You know, things of this world cause fear, believe it or not. Uh, 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 when you when you when you know there's a heaven. And when you're focused on heaven, it casts it out all fear because you know you, hey, boom, you're almost ready to die. So you can go to heaven because you know you're going to be with your father. So there's nothing you fear here on earth. So there you can be uh, relentless in a way of, uh, of with your love and, and compassion towards other people for Jesus. You're doing what Jesus wants you to do. Once you realize there's a heaven, try not to let thorns grow up in your fruit because it will squeeze the fruit out. You will lose everything. You understand? God's grace is, is a free gift. It's a undes grace is unmerited favor, undeserved. It's undeserved. Salvation is a free gift from God. It's undeserved. It's undeserved. It's undeserved. It is undeserved. And I, uh, uh, um, um, gifts are are given according. It says right here, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Some people had to endure. Uh, no, I'm not Catholic. I, uh, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm just a believer of Jesus Christ, my Savior, and um, I'm, re I'm a Christian. Uh, and I just want to inspire people, you know, for the perfecting of the saints. Uh, but unto everyone is us is given grace according to the measure of gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto all men. All right, so the more you, you, you develop a relationship, a sense of a relationship with Jesus, uh, um, um, it helps you to grow in love. It helps. You can't help but to love. You, you don't even have to know that. You don't have to recognize love for yourself when you love Jesus because Jesus is love. And if you put on the characteristics of Jesus, then you you have a sense of love in yourself, but it's without self-deceit. It's without uh, uh, self-conceit. It's without um, being wise. And it's about... Trusting in Jesus to to teach you how to love others. And if you love others, if you look from the outside looking in, you're going to love yourself in a way of, of, of without, you don't have to recognize love for yourself to love yourself. You just got to trust Jesus and love Jesus and let Jesus grow in you. If you love Jesus and he grows in you, then you love yourself. But you don't do it out of self-conceit. You don't do it out of self-gain, out of at a, a, a self-fulfillment. Jesus is going to fulfill everything inside of you. He is a fulfiller. He is true. He is real. And, and, and He is a big ball of love. He was love in the flesh. He was the God in the flesh. Therefore, when you seek after Him, you are different. Come as you are. And what I mean by that, strive to be better. Strive to do better. And it, it's like, it's like coming as you are. You're, it's like a big puzzle. You got a big puzzle, right? And, and, and Jesus is the puzzle. You're a puzzle piece. We're all equal. So therefore, all the puzzles weigh the same. But they're different shapes. So it only, you only can fit where Jesus needs you at. But everybody has a purpose to fulfill the Lord. You understand? So you are very important to the Lord. Every Each and every person is important. We all weigh the same. He said his burden is light and his yoke is easy. Whether you believe it or not, this is the truth. Uh, it's, 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 it's the heavenly things we seek, which casteth out fear. God, cast, love casteth out all fear. Once you realize you're going to heaven, that you know that heaven's true. You know, we're human and our human desires start to develop. These thorns start to develop to try to choke out the fruits. And when the thorns start to develop, choking out the fruits, you know what happens? Uh, uh, God's anointing. If you trust in Jesus, he's going to pull you from it anyways. I, 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 I have faith that Jesus is faithful. Therefore, he's going to get me through regardless. So I try when I, I I'm not none of us are perfect for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But when I when I'm when I'm striving, when I'm striving, when I'm striving, it says 
when I'm striving, when I'm striving and I'm going through something, then then and the Lord shows up and, and, and I'm going through something. I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying. He knows how hard I'm trying. He knows how hard I'm trying. Guess what? Boom. When I'm about to let go, guess what he does? Boom. Come here, boy. Nah. -uh. It's always a test. But Jesus has got you in the palm of his hand. So stay faithful as long as you can. Uh, the waves might come big. Might come big. But he's preparing you for something very beautiful. He wants to bring the beauty out of you. And you know what brings beauty out of people? Love. Jesus was a big ball of love walking on earth. And the world does not understand love. But without love, there would be no life. Without love, the, the, the flowers wouldn't grow. Without love, without love, the bees wouldn't pollinate flowers. The, without love, a lot of things wouldn't happen. Do you understand? A lot of things... Without love, without light, light is love. Light, God is love, love is God. So therefore, when His light shines on you, it's His love. When His anointing is there, it's His love and grace. It's His undeserved favor. It's, 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 it's like a, it's like a, because we don't deserve it, but Jesus' blood covers us. It's like a cloak. And, and Jesus covers us because God loved us so much that He had to let His own sin die for our, man, it's, God is wonderful, man. I just want to tell somebody that today. Just continue walking in love. If you have gifts, use it. F uh, 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 everybody has gifts in, in the Lord. The more you serve the Lord, the more you get in His Word and find joy and, and, and peace and love. He will bring so much peace and love in your life. His grace is already there. You just, you just can't be deceitful with it. Because your light will go out. You have to do it right. You know, there's a lot of things we choose to do, which, 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 we could chase everything in this world. You know, God's grace is a gift, a free gift. I, it is. It is according to the measure of, 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 of it, but it is according, grace is given according to the measure of the gift of Christ. So, you know, some people have to go through more because of the gifts they do have, you know, and, 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 uh, and that's the way they have to be developed, you know, and I just, I'm just saying, you know, and people went through a lot, you know, and just like Mary Magdalene, she went through so much. She had seven devils inside of her, you know, because her, she loved so many things. There was so much she loved. She had such a big heart that, that, that the world had her to see. Not saying she, she deserved anything. We don't deserve, but the faith. The brokenness that she had, the way she came because she didn't have nowhere, the vulnerability, she didn't know what to do. And she said, Jesus, she went to the one that she felt that would save her. And Jesus, boom, they at the time, they might her, her faith, her brokenness is what saved her. Her, 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 her capability of faith because she was she she had so many devils inside of her. She was so gone. Just imagine how miserable she was, you know. <laughs> It's just, it's just when when you when when you get broke down all the way, man. When you're so broken, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted. He wants to fill you up and use you so effective. He wants to he wants to show you the power of His mercy and grace. You know, you got to walk at the pace of grace. I was right, watching that the other day, walking at the pace of grace. You know, and I and um, I just want to encourage people today, man. God's grace is amazing. It's a free gift. Um, if you've been through things and you and you and you and you, and you and you and you and you chose Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, you chose the truth. You chose the true light of the world. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit. His daddy, he didn't have no daddy in the flesh. He had a daddy in heaven. He had the Father was his dad. He sat down uh, uh, the Holy Spirit and conceived him. So therefore, he is he is a true source of love. Understand what I'm saying. <laughs> He, that's why he was able to do the things he had, the, the, the things he could do. He could do all things that 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 love could do. Only some people get it messed up. Like they say, "Oh, he can do anything." No, 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 no. He can't do anything. We have our own will. So therefore, your faith is what heals you. Your faith that he can heal you, that he will. That's what heals you. You see, he marvels at their faith. He marvels at their faith. That's what heals them. That's what heals them. He is the son of God, but he can't, he can't come over there and, hey, I want you to be healed. No, he can't do it like that. Your faith, you have to have faith in him that he can. And therefore, that power, that the, who glory be to God. The Lord is wonderful. So 
if you have faith to be healed, if Jesus Christ lives inside of you, the power of Jesus works through you. So if a person has faith, that they're broken enough to have a faith enough, they can be healed. You understand? Somebody, will have, he had so much faith that he let, uh, the guy, uh, I was reading about it the other day, he left his house, the, the, the ruler, the one that was over, like, a, he said, I, many men serve me. And I think his son or something or somebody at the house was sick. I'm going to have to read it again. But he went and he went and, 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 and I, I got to start writing these things down. But I, I do this every day. So uh, um, he went and um, he walked. I ain't no telling how far he walked to see Jesus. But he believed. His faith right there alone. They heard that the, they, they, at the time they're thinking he's a major prophet. They're thinking he's going to become a king. If you look at it from the disciples' point of view, half the time a lot of people don't know what he's talking about because... Because they don't have the perception yet because the pro uh, the prophecy wasn't fulfilled. But once it was fulfilled and once they seen that, that, that he came back after he died and resurrected and, and you start to get the sense, you know, their perspective at the time was more of he's going to be the king of Israel. He's going to be the king here and, and he what? He, he is the king. He's the king of all the Gentiles and Israel. He's the king of all the whole world. You know what I mean? Everything. He's the king. <laughs> You know what I mean? I just, uh, and it's like, it's so exciting learning and, and finding joy in the Lord. And but what I was saying is, is the guy's faith when he walked all the way, ain't no telling how far he walked when he heard about Jesus. But his faith that he walked to find him, because you know what happened? The man, he said, I tried all these doctors and nobody could heal him. When, when, when you go through all these things and, and, and nothing works for you, and and finally you're tore down where you can't look nowhere else, call on Jesus, I'm telling you. That's when you're going to be, that faith right there, but that, just that little faith as small as a mustard seed will move a mountain. But he walked to Jesus to find him. And Jesus said he marveled at his faith. I have not seen such great faith. And guess what? The boy was healed, or the, the, the child was healed, or whoever it was healed at his house, he walked there. That's how wonderful it is. Your faith. Is what heals you. Your faith, believing, coming to the Lord, and trusting in the Lord, and believing that God. Who? Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, man. God is wonderful, man. And I just want to tell somebody, who have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. So, I just, I, I just, I, I got carried away right there. I didn't have no direct point, but I'm bringing it back to Jesus. It all comes back to ground to Jesus and and and, and faith. Walk in love and have faith. If it's, he said, if you don't receive me, uh, the, the ones you have to receive them like a child. Anyways, I have faith like, faith like a child. And as you as you as you develop a relationship with them, your faith don't have limits, but it has boundaries. Therefore, oh, your child life don't have limits, but has boundaries. And um, anyways. God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Um, I hope everybody has a blessed day. I had to share that today. I don't know why. It's just, it's just been really on me, man. And I, and I, um, you know, we all go through battles, but when that peace comes, it comes. I just want to share my joy and my love with you, um, because Jesus, I love Jesus, man, and He is the Savior of the world, and I just want to share God's love. So God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Um. I'm going to say a prayer for you and, and whatever. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you and we just thank you for showing us a sense of peace and love and joy and keeping us pure. Pure motives. And, and Lord, there's something about being pure. You say, come as you are. Come as you are. Father God, as we come as we are and you develop us, Father God, we ask that you just, I ask that you just keep us pure. Pure motives, Father God. Don't let the thorns grow up and choke the fruits away, Lord God. No matter what, because, Lord, we just want, I just, you know, I just ask that you just use us effectively for others, Father God. Help us to stay strong, Lord. Show up when we start to, when we, when it gets hard. Show up like you always do, because you are faithful, and I have faith that you are faithful. And I ask that you move over somebody's life today and comfort them, Lord God. You said you comfort us to comfort others. You give us freely to give others freely. Father God, use me as a vessel. Help us to be effect for you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. I hope God bless y'all. I hope everybody has a blessed day. I just get excited and I want to share the joy of the Lord.